Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the dmin and the dmax function. Uh, these two functions are part of a family of database functions in Excel and what these two functions do is they provide a uh, lookup in a table or a database. You can kind of think of this table as a database but the, the, these two commands or these two functions enable you, you to find the minimum value and the maximum value respectively of dmin and dmax for data in your table based on some criteria. So let's say for example if we want to find out uh, what are the total cost of bananas, what is, what's the minimum in this row and also what's the maximum, we can use the dmin and dmax respectively to do that. So let's use our first example of dmin. So what I need to do is type just dmin I'll go ahead and hit press the tab key and it'll ask me for the first argument which is the database which is my table here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the table here and then press comma and then it's going to ask for the field. Which field am I going to use? I'm going to use the total cost field. Now incidentally you can use the total cost field by just clicking on there and it'll give that value or you can type total cost in parentheses or you can type the, the number four because it's going to be the fourth column within that uh, particular table. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with that cell reference that will go there. And I'm going to press comma and it's going to take me to my third argument here which is the criteria and that's going to be a criteria table here. So I'm going to use the this table here. Now incidentally when you're looking at the criteria which is going to be a range it needs to include the headers uh, for that table. Not all of them, but in this case, just to make it easier if I wanted to change the criteria around, which I'll do later on, um, you want to select that. And it also needs to include at least another row to indicate that criteria value. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and select that. And what this is going to happen now is I'm looking for the minimum amount uh, in this database of this particular column, the values in this column or, or this field. And the minimum, of course, when we look at bananas, this one's selected because it's the criteria, A1 to D2, that's the criteria. It's going to, based on the criteria of bananas, which is the most, which is the minimum total cost. So you can see here, bananas is 1326, bananas here at 725, and bananas here is 1276. Now the minimum here is going to be 725. So if I press uh, enter, we're going to get 725. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with dmax, and of course dmax is going to give me the opposite, which one is the maximum out of this total cost. So I'll go ahead and type equal dmax, uh, go ahead and tab to open the parentheses, my database is here, and then comma, the field that I want to use, I want to use the total cost field, and then comma, and the criteria, which is my little table here. And of course with the maximum, it's going to look at the maximum here in the total cost, which is going to be 1326. So if I press or if I close parentheses and press enter, we see here we'll have 1326. But what if I added some other criteria filters here? Let's say, for example, we change uh, some other criteria here. We added uh, something additional. Let's say in the unit cost, I want to say where the unit cost only equals 29 cents. So if I did that, we're only looking at the criteria where it fits bananas and where it equals 29 cents. So we see that there's one instance here in row 8 where it equals 29 cents and there's another instance here where it, in row 11 where it equals 29 cents. So it's going to ignore this row because this row is 35 cents. So the calculations, the output of the calculations will probably change for the dmin and dmax because we're only looking at rows 8 and rows 11, right? The criteria is bananas and 29 cents. So the lowest is going to be 725 and the maximum is going to be 1276. So basically this dmin does not change but this one will change to 1276. So I'll go ahead and press enter and now you'll see that that has changed. So that's in a nutshell the use of the dmin and dmax formula. You can see these two functions sort of like as a lookup function uh, for a database range. Looking at the minimum amount with the dmin function in a database based on some criteria and also looking for a maximum amount with the dmax function uh, for your database based on some criteria. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.